Here is the first kind of the two new kinds of fish we bought for to feed our fish. This is Atlantic mackerel, scumber, scumbrus. That's probably about what a foot long or so. Atlantic, don't don't uh, confuse it with Pacific mackerel, scumbrus japonicus which does contain thiaminase, Atlantic or Boston uh, mackerel, it has many other common names, uh, does, not, does, not does not supposed to have thiaminase. But this is much bigger than our usual herring, so we're going to have to cut it up and uh, feed it to our biggest fish that way. Hopefully they will take to it. So we're going to cut it up, put it in the bucket, Soak it in uh, Vitacam and B1, might even be one. I'm gonna show you a little later the second kind of the fish we bought, the finger mullet. And we'll we'll uh, feed them feed our fish today. This cuisine for the first time. I just finished feeding all the anchovy and the herring, all the dangerous thiaminase containing containing feeds. So we're out of them. Now we're going to try these guys. This is, by the way, um, sold as a bait fish. This is a, tr a frozen tray of 25 pounds. I, buy it, I bought it from Bionic Bait Company of Pompano Beach, Florida for uh, $40 a tray. So we got five trays to try, uh, 200 pounds. And also we got uh, 200 pounds of the mullet as well. This is a nice yummy fish by the way. I don't know about other countries but the country I'm coming from used to be known as the Soviet Union. This was called Scumbria and people bought it for human consumption and enjoyed it. So that's uh, it's a nice fish for people as well, but here it's sold for uh, as a bait fish at least. This is the fish I bought for. That's what the purpose of it meant to be. Okay, all set. This is 25 pounds, a five gallon five gallon bucket. Loose of them. Many of them have eggs in them so that's nice a lot of nutrition here is the other kind finger mullet I believe this to be Mugil Kurema or Mugil Girans I'm not sure which one but this is the smaller growing mullet better known as white mullet or great mullet this is not the gray mullet or the striped mullet the one that usually grows to 20 inches. This is the one that uh, stays under one foot. Hence, I think it's not the young spe uh, specimen of the uh, big head or uh, striped mullet, which does contain some thiaminase. I think among mullets, this is the only one that's known to contain thiaminase. The finger mullet, the white mullet, I believe does not. So anyhow, we have uh, these are uh, 250 a pound. Chris from Bionic Bait was nice enough to let me buy them for uh, two dollars a pound. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five pounds this uh, third out. The slight problem with the mullet is that the mullet has sharp spines in the uh, pelvic fins in the dorsal fin and in the anal fin so like needle like little spines which hurt me and could hurt predator if he's careless with it but we'll see how it goes all right so we got our vitamin b1 we got our vitacam
vitamin B1 is very very fluffy so uh, right now this is like only about two grams since we may have a problem I'm gonna give it a little more than I will have to do it less in the in the future but for now I'm gonna just add a lot of a lot of it and then the Vitacam alright well, I'm gonna add a little water and be done with it We're gonna let it soak and mix it about several times, let it soak again. I'm gonna add just above water, enough water so that everything is in the solution of the Vitacam and B1. Ouch, it's poking me to the mullet spines. Okay, I'm gonna let it marinate and we're gonna feed it then.